absence of advanced biomedical devices development in the country and imports which are unaffordable by the common man together offer a unique opportunity to the already present stakeholders in Pakistan that is indigenous and sustainable biomedical devices and allied solutions based on research and development carried out in Pakistani universities. The Interdisciplinary Research Center in Biomedical Materials, also known as IRCBM, at Comsat University Islamabad Lahore campus realized this potential a long time ago and coined the concept of the International Symposia on Biomedical Materials. Also known as ISBM, the ISBM series today is a flagship event of Comsat University Islamabad. It has been organized since 2008 with each event growing in stature one after the other. This time, the 7th International Symposium on Biomedical Materials 2019 was held on the 11th and 12th of December 2019 at the Nishat Hotel in Lahore. This event focused specifically on science and technology innovation and the knowledge economy in relation to biomedical materials and allied areas of research and development. The event started with an opening ceremony in the early hours of 11th of December. This included a progress overview by the host, the Interdisciplinary Research Center in Biomedical Materials, and the rationale behind 7th ISPM 2019. Senior officials of Comsas University Islamabad highlighted the pioneering role played by IRCBM and the university in developing a research conducive atmosphere and carrying out translational research in Pakistan. As Pakistan's leading university in research and its exploitation, Comsas University Islamabad is a staunch believer in the role of universities and its intellectual resources in development of a sustainable knowledge economy. The opening ceremony also featured overviews of IRCBM's key international collaborations with the University of Sheffield and Lancaster University in UK. The Honourable Chief Guest, Dr. Yasmin Rashid, Minister of Punjab for Primary and Secondary Healthcare and Specialised Healthcare and Medical Education, welcomed the national and international participants. She congratulated Comsas University Islamabad for developing a niche but much needed focus on biomedical materials and allied areas. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, I am very grateful to the Comset University that they have given me the opportunity to give me the opportunity to give me the 7th Symposium of Biomedical Materials. I will talk to you about it. And the opportunity I was listening to you is that I am very interested in that you are doing a lot of good work. I welcome all my uh, uh, foreign delegates who are here today. It's a pleasure to have you here and I hope you enjoy your visit uh, to Pakistan and I'm sure with your repeated coming here you've been a great influence on development of all the work which is being done here. The Honourable Minister also agreed with the concept of university spin-offs contributing to Pakistan's transition into a knowledge economy and pledged their support in making it possible. The technical session started with a plenary lecture by Professor Sheila McNeil of University of Sheffield. Professor McNeil is a leading global expert in development of biomaterials and tissue regeneration, having translated several technologies into successful businesses and patient benefit during her career. Her plenary lecture focused on development of biomaterials to stimulate wound healing and tissue regeneration. Overall, 7th ISBM 2019 featured close to 300 participants from academic, clinical, regulatory and industrial backgrounds. Over the two very busy days, the symposium featured seven sessions on tissue engineering and regenerative medicine, dentistry and dental materials, sensors for healthcare, bone repair and regeneration, biomaterials, their fabrication and characterization, and spinning off university research for commercialization. International participants from UK, Germany, USA, New Zealand, Turkey and Iran shared their research and network with other participants. 
This biomaterial centre in IRCB is quite amazing because in a very, very short time they've gone from establishing good quality research to looking at the big challenge of how can they take the research out of the laboratory towards the clinic and towards commercialisation. There are great biomaterials groups around the world but they don't all engage with this and the IRCB is. They really, really do want to make a difference. My name is uh, Dr. Jochen Salber. I'm a PI uh, and scientist and uh, a clinician um, from Germany. I'm a senior um, a physician in surgery from the Department uh, of Surgery of the University Hospital in Bochum and I'm also head of the Department of Experimental Surgery. So I'm doing clinics, uh, clinical stuff and also research and merge both and that's, this is also the reason why I'm here because I have uh, close cooperation partners at Comsats and uh, we are looking forward uh, to uh, a great journey for uh, science research and clinical applications. I have the impression that um, everything here, um, especially what uh, the uh, IRCBM and COMSATS is doing, um, is the right way. Um, bringing people from all over the world together, um, scientists, specialists, uh, but not only scientists, uh, but also clinicians and uh, people from the industry, um, to come in, uh, in, in contact and, uh, and to speak about science and the translation of science uh, into the market uh, and also into the clinic. What is finally also the reason why I am here, because as a clinician we need finally um, all these uh, novel technologies to be implemented in the clinics for the benefit of our patients. So my name is Ivan Andreescu, I'm a professor of chemistry and biomolecular science at Clarkson University in Potsdam, New York. Um, I have the honor to be here as an invited guest and I am very impressed by the level of scientific research that I see by the talent that I see in the young generation, um, the scientific achievement and the enthusiasm of researchers and team members. What I've seen here, it's really an excellent, excellent mixture of clinicians, material scientists, sensing experts and bringing together all these people to discuss novel and innovative ideas to move and the future is absolutely the right thing to do. I can see this is very well organized, this inter interdisciplinary in one area, it's like an incubator. Uh, I think this is a fantastic model, in fact, uh, I am collecting uh, data and uh, to take this to Sri Lanka and get them to introduce uh, this system there because this will be a very good role model. Uh, I, th I think that the idea of having a symposium in, in these areas is a, is a good idea, it brings people in from different areas and who are still linked in some way but they are quite different. Anything that brings people together to talk is always a, a good thing and certainly in, the, in this complicated area of, of science where you need to talk, you need to get clinicians to talk to fundamental scientists, physical scientists, talk to biological scientists, everybody has to talk together because it's a big, big, big problem and it has to be solved. Such symposium can, uh, can help to uh, more collaboration between, uh, between Pakistan and other countries. Um, in this symposium there are uh, many researchers from uh, USA, Germany, Iran and um, UK. So it can uh, open a new, um, a new horizon uh, to develop international collaboration. National participants travel from Turbat, Balochistan, Karachi, Peshawar, Islamabad, Multan and other areas to share their ideas and network intensively. Hi, my name is uh, Sayyid Ahmad Rahman Salman. I'm a dentist. I'm from Karachi. I recently moved to Lahore, so this is kind of my first symposium here. So uh, what I thought was yeah, uh, what IRCBM is doing for our entire country is really amazing. I met the most, some most amazing professors here. I saw the cream of Pakistan here doing researches that I would not have thought of. I'm Dr. 
Dr. Ayusha. I am here from Army Medical College. Um, I have already done my research in IRCBM. I think they have taken a great initiative by uh, starting a symposium. It increases exposure for both the students and supervisors here. Um, before I came here, I was um, in, almost entirely unaware of the fact that there are a lot of specialties here. There are a lot of people who are doing specialist projects that operate over here. Uh, because most of us just believe that if we need good funding or a good project or a good supervisor, that we need to move out of Pakistan. But at IRCBM, I've come to see myself and realize that there are endless opportunities for somebody who can plan up to them. So I think the symposium itself is great because here I've seen other people doing collaborations and I've seen students of my college doing collaborations. That means with, that we can accomplish something big and meaningful over here without having to you know, leave the country for either funds or specialists. I would do, they, there are some incredible people working, doing some incredible jobs here. So uh, the symposium actually, what it does is it makes you acquainted to all these people and all these opportunities. In addition to around 40 oral presentations, the program also featured a poster exhibition which showcased more than 50 research projects carried out in Pakistan and abroad. The last session of the event was conducted in the form of an interactive workshop with panelists from regulatory affairs, industrial, clinical and academic backgrounds. The session was moderated by two leading translational experts from Pakistan and the UK. The 7th ISBM 2019 concluded its scope of activities in the evening of 12th of December 2019. Overall, there is significant rationale and groundwork available to ensure the launch of a sustainable biomedical devices industry in Pakistan based on technologies developed and incubated in Pakistani universities.